500 million years ago. The microcontinent was situated near the equator. The Western scientists called it Kazakhstania. The structure with almost full list of elements from the Mendeleev stable inside its depth. What secrets does Kazakhstan soil have? How rich is it? Natural resources are the history of our land for thousands of years. A big white camel was walking proudly among high green pine trees, slowly approaching the blue mirror-like lake. This animal, a master and keeper of the woods, mountains and lakes, had been always trusted by the local people. They thought it had been sent by Tengri, the god of heaven. It was the white camel who warned people by his loud cry. His name was Bura, and the people respectfully called him Burabai. As the legend goes, Bura died while protecting the land against the invaders. Dying, the sacred animal stunned and turned into the stone to become a part of the Blue Mountains with their foothills washed by the waters of clean lakes. Since those times, the surroundings have been called Burabai in the name of their ancient keeper. In geological terms, this mysterious and incredibly beautiful land is a granite massive having a round shape, surrounded by a circle of hills. Burabai has a form of a crater, including the surrounding faults. This huge geological structure reaches 50 kilometers in diameter. The Burabai National Park is located between the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana, and Kokshetau, a regional center of Akmola region. The history of formation of this region dates back to billions of years. The geological structure is mostly a granite and metamorphic complex. Its rock formations create so-called Borovskoy Dome. This is one of the most unique places on our planet. And it also has its own place in the history of the Earth's crust formation. Some scientists think that almost one billion years ago, a sort of smelting furnace created by nature itself was located here. The Proterozoic era was a time when crystal slates, marble stones and amphibolites, dark color massive or shale metamorphic rocks as well as eclogites were formed. The latter were born under the impact of very high pressure. From time to time, affected by the energy of the Earth's billows, during millions of years the smelted rocks had been moving up to the surface and hardening, turning into granite massifs. In ancient times, a huge ocean stretched throughout the current territory of Kazakhstan, from Ural to Altai of the Tian Shan. And for millions of years, the bottom deposits had formed here until they occupied several kilometers. When the activation period started, the scorching magma tried to break away out to the surface, but it failed, getting stuck against these geological formations at the depth of 5 to 12 kilometers. Granite rocks cooled down, they changed as did the ancient layers replacing these rocks. And of course, the size of granite rocks decreased and rock cleavages were formed. And during the last stage, which was near 10 million years ago, they started to move up to the surface. Separate blocks moved up, and some of them moved down, and granite rocks cooled down. And these mysterious forms of Burabai mountain structures were a result of their formations at great depth. 
these figures looked bizarre, as if they had been created by a civilization of giants. Smoothly polished stone layers seem to overlap each other in a specific order. They form figures reminding animals, some life scenes and people's faces. Surprisingly, these stone erections is the result of inconceivable logic of nature, the scientists say. When moving up to the surface, the granite massifs seem to feel the power of water and air. The wind also played its role. While coming into the ancient complexes, granite rocks were capturing blocks of surrounding formations. They often turned to be more vulnerable to erosion process and degraded faster than granite rocks themselves. As a result, beautiful aeolian formations appeared inside granite bodies, resembling human faces or scary fantastic creatures. Almost every peak of mountain rages here has its legend. One of the most interesting ones is related to the mountain called Ogjetpes, which means a narrow that will not reach. As the legend says, it was the name of a giant Batir. Together with his faithful friend, an elephant, they fought with the enemies and turned into stones as they didn't want to be prisoned. It seems to be strange that the elephant, an animal which is not common for today's local biosphere, is mentioned in the Kazakh legend. Nevertheless, if you look more carefully at the stone on the top of the Ogjetpes huge rock, you will see that its shape accurately reminds the shape of an elephant. If talking about geological terms, Ogjetpes, as well as the other significant rocks of the Borovskoy Dome, were formed 400 million years ago during the Silurian period. They consist of the rocks that are more resistant to weathering. That's how the peaks towering about this unique area were formed. In spite of the studies showing that the lithosphere here had been melting over 200 million years ago, the scientists think that the surface of the Borovskoy Dome is still closely connected to the bottom part, which is situated in the lower mantle of the Earth or even deeper inside its core. Here are the unique opportunities to hear the Earth's crust breathing. The Burabai National Park is supervised by the Department of the President's Affairs. The National Park was founded on 12 of August 2007. The total area of our park is 29,299 hectares. The National Park enters the list of specially protected areas of the Republic of Kazakhstan. The park occupies three regions that are Burabaisky, Bulandinsky and Inbekshilderski. There are also about 40 residential places located in the park territory. Our park is well known for its beautiful and unforgettable lakes throughout Kazakhstan as well as abroad. There are near 10 big lakes in the park, as well as high mountains. For example, the height of the Kokshitao mountain is 947 meters. Today, Burabai is a protected park, which serves as the memorial of geological, ethnographic and biological history. Let's take Equisetum. As an example, you can find it here everywhere, its history goes back to generations. Or one of the most ancient plants which once existed here is now mined as coal. Or outstanding dancing birch trees. Nobody knows why their trunks had curved this way. There are plenty of scientific versions and legends. But still, it is another mystery of Burabai's nature. The local area has long been known for its underground treasures. So-called Borovskoy placers were discovered in the first half 
of the 18th century. However, by the beginning of the 20th century, the artisans stopped mining here. There were around 100 gold mines in this region. Some old residents say there were times when people found gold nuggets with weight of almost 250 grams. According to some data, up to three tons of gold were extracted here. In addition to gold nuggets, one can discover arsenopyrite, pyrite, molybdenite, scheelite, tourmaline, granatum. In the mountains of Burabai, there are also occurrences of rodengite, pegmatite, and ball quartz. That's why a long time ago, people decided to live here. Burabai has been keeping legends and historical artifacts related to human existence from ancient times. Archaeologists believe that in this very area, Ablai Khan, one of the most prominent politicians of the Kazakh steppe, once had his quarters. Actually, he had quarters here. They could not pass by Borovoye. This is a very nice place, and a lot of lakes and bald peaks surround the area. As the experts from the regional Kokshitau Local History Museum say, the quarters were located at the shore of the lake called Big Chibachie. In the quarters, Ablai Khan hosted ambassadors, met his army and had military inspections. It means there was some kind of building structure. And in 1974, Mark Gulan saw the ruins of the structure at the place and even wrote a letter suggesting that the site should be studied. The park has rich diversity of landscapes. If you climb up one of the hills, you will see how dark pine woods are replaced by the steppe. At the same time, this beautiful landscape is divided by a mountain ridge. Pine woods covering the territory of the national park and rocks having weird forms divide a plenty of lakes. The total area covered by Burabai water resources is near 11.5 thousand hectares. At the same time, the experts consider water treasures located in this territory of Akmola region, which is called Sinigorye, as the real healing source. Our land is rich with ground and surface waters. Among the biggest surface water sources, popular among the population of Kazakhstan and neighboring countries, are such big lakes as Imantau, Chalkar, Zerinda, as well as the group of lakes belonging to Shuching's Borovskoy Resort area. Everybody knows Borovskoy Lake, Shuchinskoy, Bolshoy and Malia Chibachie, where people like to rest and swim in summer. All of these lakes are valuable, especially owing to fresh water. Some of the lakes in the Shuchinskoy Borovskoy Resort area have fresh water. Many of the lakes are low salt, containing such useful elements as chloride, bromine, and sodium. And when a person bathes in these waters in summer, it is like to take a balneotherapy. The history of these refreshing lakes dates back to the Pleistocene era. It was the latest period of the Ice Age, near 12,000-15,000 BC. Ice caps were melting down, and glacial meltwaters were filling the lowlands. And today, the lakes are filled by waters released by the melting of snow after winter ends. Mineral waters are one more ever-living source which is a gift of this land. The whole zone of the Makinsky, Zerindinsky and Borovskoy granite massifs is rich with radon waters. The water of these healing springs is widely used by the local resorts to treat different diseases. We stand for exterior use of radon water. As well, room number 7 was opened here. Radon water 
possesses very good health properties. It can be said that this water has a positive effect on the human body, starting from cardiovascular system, and it prevents from respiratory, osteoarticular, neurological, skin and other disorders. As you probably noticed, Raiden drinking water can be used in three temperature regimes. And it is very important to follow specific rules. For instance, in case of particular diseases, the time when Raiden bath can be taken depends on the time when a person takes meal. In any case, the treatment is subscribed by the doctor. Mineral groundwater is extracted in ecologically clean area and has its specific properties. For example, according to the experts, the water from Kenneth Cole deposit improves immunity, dissolves stones in the human body, moves out kidney gravel and increases hemoglobin level. The reserves of groundwater are situated at the 45-meter depth in the ancient granite rocks. And at the Kuskol deposit, water is extracted even at the depth of 80 meters. Today, every person in Kazakhstan can drink it. This lifeblood extracted from wells undergoes all necessary procedures, including chemical analysis and purification process, before being bottled. Then this healing water of the precious land starts its journey countrywide. By the way, nowadays groundwater sources play important role in the economic development of our country. They are needed to provide fresh water for the cities. Today exploration works are conducted at the villages located near the regional center. We will estimate the reserves, and the exploration works will be done during the year. We are talking about groundwater sources. The specialists will take probes within seasons to do bacteriological and chemical analysis. And after getting results, we will know the well reserves and if water will be enough for the local needs. Now we're doing exploration works, and everything will be clear after we've finished them. It is important to say that this area of the Akmola region has very old geological history. It is over 3.5 billion years old. And the period of its formation coincided with the beginning of the formation of the Earth's surface. Volcanic activity had lasted during the whole period. And within the era, the whole territory was covered by the ocean. The water level changed several times, as well as flora and fauna did. Earth layers moved up and down. The Earth's appearance had changed considerably during millions of years. However, there are some evidences of the planet's growing process that were not affected by time. There are several massifs in Kazakhstan. Some of them are called Anticlinoria. They can be found among younger deposits of the Ordovician period. These very Precambrian massifs are surrounded by younger deposits. In geological terms, it is a big rock sticking out of the ground. It is called a massif. It has a specific shape. And there are several such massifs in Kazakhstan. They belong to Precambrian period. These are Ulutau and Kokshitau massifs. Another one is Betpagdala massif. In these places, we can see the most ancient rocks. In other words, they are a sort of islands of the ancient structures sticking out of the ground, while the bottom parts were buried under younger deposits. One of the very unique deposits located near Kokshitau is Kumdikol deposit of fine-grained or so-called industrial diamonds. This deposit is a remaining of the early Earth's crust Kokshitau massif. 
when the planet began to cool down, heavy minerals and metals sank, thus forming the Earth's core, while the upper layers contained quartz and feldspar. They crystallized and formed the early planet lithosphere. On the surface, weathering process caused the appearance of quartz sand, and today the ground relief near Kumdekor Lake consists of quartz rocks. During the Cambrian period, a part of the early crust moved down at the depth of 100-150 kilometers under the influence of volcanic shifts, the scientists say, and diamonds were formed there. But after a while, they moved up to the surface. The deposit was discovered by Mr. Drivert, a professor of the Tomsk State University, 200 years ago. In addition to gold and platinum, he found crystals in the area of gold mines and placers. Diamonds were analyzed. There were also a lot of legends. In particular, after the war ended, when political prisoners came here to live in settlements. One of them found a pigeon egg near the shore of the Kumdekor Lake. They said it was a diamond. And the record was documented in the archives of the National Security Committee. There were also legends saying a shepherd named Kasim took rest of the foothill somewhere near Shuchinsk and discovered a crystal, as big as a pigeon egg. He sold it to the merchants and bought a herd. Since then, the bald peak was called in the name of Kasim. And during the exploration works, I asked the local people and found this very bald peak. It really bears the name of Kasim, and nobody has explored the area. So maybe big gem diamonds can be found here. Surprisingly, diamonds seem to be alone here, having appeared against any logic. Based on geological science, this super hard crystal is always accompanied with such minerals as pyrope and chrome diopside, but none of the latter two were found at the Kumdekol. Thus, in order to find the primary deposit, geologists had to refer to eclogites that are an integral part of the lithosphere. These ancient crystalline rocks can be found in kimberlite pipes. And the first research works showed that diamonds at Kumdekol deposit are also contained in several enclosing rocks. Mining works were done here. The surface channels, located in the territory, go across the trend of the structure. It is one kilometer long, stretching from northeast to southwest, and its width is 300 meters. This is the widest part. And considering the relief and Kumdukot Lake, the deposit was named after the latter. It was easier to use underground mining without shafts. We entered the territory of the ore zone, cross-cut it and explored the trend of its structure. We're now standing near the mine entrance. As the encyclopedia says, the Kumdekol deposit contains huge reserves of diamonds, but they are very small and can be widely used to produce abrasive products. In addition, high technologies are needed to mine them. That's why today the largest diamond deposit of the country is waiting for its time to come. Kokshetau is the center of Akmol region. This name of the city has a special meaning. Sinigorye. When looking at Kokshetau from high above, one can see how magnificent this land is. The land that witnessed the first life forms on the planet. This land keeps memories about the planet's birth. And this land is in the very heart of Kazakhstan. <laughs>